Hey there guys and welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial on how to retarget Mexamo animations to the Unreal Engine skeleton using Terribola Studio's Mexamo converter. Let's get right into it. So first off, you're heading over to the Terribola Studio's website. This link is going to be in the description below where you will come across the official web page and you can see they are constantly updating it. It's, it's a fantastic converter and why it's so good is because the converter essentially processes the entire skeleton and this allows Mixamo to utilize and animate every single bone that, that the mannequin has to offer. And as a result, the animations come out crisp and clean and it's amazing. To download it, you head over to the download button as you can see here, you press it, you are given a zip file. Make sure to type the password for the zip file, otherwise you will not be able to extract it. Once you're finished extracting the zip file, you're gonna have a file that looks like this. Complete, initial, important, and the application itself. Keep that open for now, we're gonna use that in a second. The second part is we're gonna head over to mixamo.com. If you log in, create a, an account, you should be able to see something similar to this. We are going to not use this character, of course, because we're using the mannequin skeleton. We're going to upload the character, which is essentially our Unreal Engine skeleton that the converter uh, provides. And this is a custom skeleton. We're gonna drag and drop it into the upload. What's uploading, it, the reason why it's custom is because it actually has leaf bones. And these leaf bones supposedly help out uh, Mixamo in converting uh, the animations correctly with things like head movement, fingers, toes. Once the process is complete, you can see it's been auto-rigged, looking very nice, looking very clean. We will now have to select which animation you would like. Uh, head over to the animation tab and choose an animation you would like. I like using this one, for example, just a sprint animation with a rifle, I guess. So as you can see, it currently has root motion. We're gonna set it to in place, so that way it's just more usable. Hit download, you need to make sure and keep an eye out for two options. First off, this has to be without skin. Do not have it with skin, it needs to be without skin. And keep in mind that the keyframe reduction has to be uniform. Once that's done, you can press download. Once it's downloaded, you can go to where it is. I'm gonna currently cut that out and I'm gonna paste it into the initial folder, which is located in the Mixamo converter that you just downloaded. Paste it in. And now we're going to open up the Mixamo converter. As you can see here, we are gonna hit convert. And the animations have been converted, moved to the complete folder. This is the complete folder that they moved to. So they start out in initial and head over to complete. This is the animation. And now we're going to go back to our project and we're going to drag and drop, simple as that. Now, of course, the import uh, options are very important. So we're using the mannequin skeleton, of course. And we are gonna make sure that several, there are six settings I think that need to be checked. First off, import meshes in bone hierarchy needs to be checked. Default sample rate needs to be checked. Import custom attribute needs to be false. Um, import bone tracks need to be true. And delete existing morph target curves need to be false. And do not import curves needs to be false as well. Now, just for a second, just listen and see what I'm doing. There's a reason why you need to add an extra step, just so you have an idea what's going on. Well, if we import it this way, you will see that this looks great. It works out well. There's no real weirdness with the bones, no stretching or anything, no skinning issues, looks great. But you will see here that is floating. Now for some reason, I don't know why this happens, but a lot of the animations are floating and by a very small margin. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna delete that, I'm gonna re-import it. I was just trying to show you guys so you have an understanding of why I'm doing this. Uh, mannequin skeleton, thankfully the import settings are saved, so you don't have to constantly input them. You're gonna to go to the import translation. And you can use a number between negative eight and negative 10. I go negative nine, just because I think it looks the best. And you hit import. It's pretty much the same exact thing, except this time the Z translation is moved down nine units. And as you can see, much nicer, the character walks on the ground. Fantastic. And that is how you retarget animations to the Unreal Engine skeleton using the Mixamo converter provided by Terribolis Studios. Thank you very much, guys. I hope this was useful and good luck and have fun.